So let us talk about uh, nanotechnology today. Uh, nanotechnology has enormous potential to change the society as we are seeing it now and it involves manipulation of objects on the atomic level, right? This is very important because we are going to talk about this. Uh, the size does matter and the products is built on every atom, every atom that are stronger, smarter, cheaper, cleaner and more precise. So nanotechnology is actually uh, an art and science of manipulating matter at the nano scale means down to one by one lakh the width of a human hair you can imagine you can imagine a human hair and divide the size of the human hair by one by one lakh to create new and unique materials and products the origins of nanotechnology a nobel prize winner richard feynman first conceived the idea of molecular manufacturing in his 1959 speech there's a plenty of room at the bottom this this what he said and richard finman was the first scientist to suggest that the devices and materials could someday be fabricated to atomic specifications please watch the year he said and now we're working on it and the results are already there and then in 1886 Eric wrote Engines of Creation and introduced the term nanotechnology. From the scientific research, really expanded over the last uh, decade. So let us come down to um, definition of uh, nanotechnology. Nanotechnology is the understanding and control of matter at dimensions of roughly one by one hundred of nanometers. nanotechnology nano came from this word nano meters where unique phenomena enable novel applications new applications so encompassing nano scale science engineering technology nanotechnology involves imaging it involves imaging measuring modeling and manipulating matter at this length scale so how small is this nano scale so a nanometer is 1 billionth of a meter 1 billion for example dna sample it is approximately 2 nanometer while the human hair it's approximately 1 into 10 to the power 5 nanometer so why we require this nanotechnology uh, at the nano scale the physical chemical and biological properties of the materials differ in fundamental and valuable ways from the properties of the individual atoms and molecules or bulk matter so at this scale uh, there are difference in certain properties so nano technology r&d is directed toward understanding and creating improved materials devices and system that exploit these new properties these new properties so what is nano material Uh, it is defined as any material that has unique or novel properties just because of its size nano scale nanometer scale structure and these are formed by incorporation or structuring of nano particles they are subdivided into again nano crystals nano powders and nano tubes so the sequence of nano uh, scale of uh, c60 atoms arranged in a long thin cylindrical structure for example there are certain characteristics of nano materials there are various categories of nano materials one dimension nano material two dimensional three dimensional nano material one dimensional nano materials like layers multi layers thin films platelets surface coatings they have been developed and used for decades particularly in the electronic industry while these 2d nano materials like nano wires nano fibers made from a variety of elements other than carbon nano tubes and a subset of this group uh, carbon uh, nano tube while in 3d nano materials they are known as nano particles and include precipitates colloids quantum dots like tiny particles of uh, semiconductor materials and nano crystalline materials various products of uh, 
neurotechnology are there. So I've just listed out few of them, like building products, automotive, marine products, textile, medical, nanoparticles, electronics and computers, in industrial products, cosmetics, food, health and garden, R&D. So you name it and you find nanotechnology everywhere. Uh, let us uh, see some uh, applications of nanotechnology. Like this is a nano transistors. These are nano diodes. These are OLED means organic light emitting diode. And then we have plasma displays. We have quantum computers. We have batteries. See, a foldable battery. We have fuel cells. We have solar cells. We have nanotubes. We have aerogel. Aerogel. We have nanoparticles. And in life sciences, we have targeted drug, drug delivery. Targeted means where it requires, you can send it there. Artificial retina and tissue regeneration. See, this is after and this was before. The future of uh, nanotechnology, nanotechnology is going to redesign the future of several technologies, products market because it is everywhere. Uh, scientists and engineers can now work with materials at atomic level to create a stain proof fabric, or scratch resistant paints, more efficient food uh, cells and batteries. And experts say that nanotechnology will likely create the next generation of billionaires and reshape global business. And industrialists predict that revenues from products incorporating nanotechnology will reach to a whopping amount within 10 years. And what is the government policy? The government of India has made, uh, you know, 1000 crore investment in nanotechnology. Karnataka is uh, planning to set up country's first nano park in Bangalore. And government of Andhra Pradesh is planning to set up nanotechnology park in 350 acre in Hyderabad. This is a huge boost to this technology, seeing its future and the advantages of nanotechnology, you know, if, if, if it is taken care or researched properly, the end of illness, universal immunity, body sculpting, stop of aging process and painless childbirths. Also industrial advantages include computers a billion times faster and a million times smaller. Automatic pollution cleanup, manufacturing at almost no cost. Other advantages include architecture in, in uh, engineering, construction industry, material producer, use of superior education, and in textile industry. But there are some terrestrial advantages also. Uh, maybe loss of jobs, oil becomes worthless, diamonds become worthless, and automatic weapons are accessible and destructive. This is a very important aspect. An implication of nanotechnology, if uh, we talk about uh, health and safety issue, nanoparticles can cause serious illness or damage the human body and untraceable destructive weapons of mass destruction as far as safety is concerned and solid social and political issues create social strife through increasing wealth gap and advisability of increasing scope of the technology creates political dilemma. So, Nanotechnology offers the ability to build a large number of products that are incredibly powerful. Nanotechnology is uh, heavily uh, intertwined with biotechnology, information technology, making its uh, scope quite wide. And uh, nanotechnology industry is mainly used or employed for creating a new world. So this was just an uh, introduction, a brief idea upon, about nanotechnology. Hope you got a bit idea. Thank you so much.